Gurkhas are the invincible fighters of Nepal. The Gurkhas are from Nepal, which is where most Gurkhas still live today. The Gurkhas are descended from the indigenous people of Nepal, who were known for their bravery and fighting spirit. The Gurkhas are a diverse group of soldiers who come from different ethnic and cultural backgrounds. However, they share a common commitment to duty, loyalty, and bravery, which has made them one of the most invincible fighting forces in the world. The Gurkhas are made up of various ethnic groups, primarily from Nepal and surrounding regions. The ethnic composition of the Gurkhas has evolved over time, as different groups have joined the Gurkha regiments in various countries some of the main ethnic groups that are part of the Gurkhas are Gungs, Magas, Rais, Limbus, and Tamangs. More in details about these ethnic groups. The Gungs are one of the largest ethnic groups in Nepal and are well represented in the Gurkha regiments of various countries. They are known for their bravery and fighting spirit, and many of them have served with distinction in the military. Adding to the composition, the Magas are another large ethnic group in Nepal that is well represented in the Gurkha regiments. They are known for their physical strength and endurance, and many of them have served in elite military units. More on, the Rais are an indigenous group from eastern Nepal that is also represented in the Gurkha regiments. They are known for their martial traditions and have a reputation as fierce warriors. Further, the Limbus are another indigenous group from eastern Nepal that is part of the Gurkha regiments. They are known for their skill with weapons and have a long history of military service. Also, the Tamangs are an ethnic group from central Nepal that is represented in the Gurkha regiments. They are known for their bravery and loyalty, and many of them have served with distinction in various military units. Adding more, the Gurkhas have a rich set of customs and traditions. The Gurkhas have a rich and unique set of customs and traditions that reflect their cultural heritage and military history. The Kukuri is a traditional Nepalese knife that is closely associated with the Gurkhas. It is a curved, heavy-bladed knife that is designed for chopping and slashing, and it is considered a symbol of the Gurkhas' bravery and fighting spirit. The Kukuri is an important part of Gurkha culture, and it is often given as a gift to mark important occasions. Like Kukuri, the Kukuri dance is a traditional Nepalese dance that is performed by Gurkhas during festivals and other special occasions. The dance is performed with Kukuris, and it is meant to symbolize the bravery and skill of the Gurkha warriors. More on is the Kukri ceremony. The Kukri ceremony is a traditional Gurkha ceremony that is held to mark the end of a soldier's military service. During the ceremony, the soldier's commanding officer presents him with a Kukuri and offers him a drink of water from the same vessel. This symbolizes the end of the soldier's service and his return to civilian life. In the same way, the Kukuri Oath is a traditional oath of loyalty that is taken by Gurkha soldiers. The oath is taken while holding a Kukuri, and it is meant to symbolize the soldier's commitment to his duty and his country. Each Gurkha regiment has its own unique insignia that is worn on the soldiers' uniforms. These insignia often incorporate traditional Nepalese symbols and motifs, and they are an important part of the Gurkha soldier's identity. The Beretu is a traditional Nepalese hat that is worn by Gurkhas during formal occasions. The hat is made of wool and is shaped like a cylinder, with a flat top and a tassel on the side. The Beretu is often worn with a traditional Gurkha uniform. Overall, the customs and traditions of the Gurkhas are an important part of their cultural heritage and military identity. Adding more, the Gurkhas played significant role in the unification process of modern Nepal. The Gurkhas played an important role in the unification of Nepal in the 18th century. The Gurkhas served as the backbone of the Nepalese military during the unification period. They were highly skilled and disciplined soldiers, and their reputation as fierce warriors was well known throughout the region. The Gurkhas were instrumental in helping King Prithvi Narayan Shah to defeat his enemies and to unify the various small kingdoms and principalities into a single nation. The Gurkhas brought with them a wealth of military knowledge and expertise that helped to shape the Nepalese military strategy during the unification period. They introduced new tactics and techniques that proved highly effective in battle, and they helped to train Nepalese soldiers in the art of warfare. The Gurkhas were fiercely loyal to the Nepalese cause, 
and their devotion to their king and their country helped to inspire other Nepalese soldiers to fight for the cause of unification. The Gurkhas were willing to make great sacrifices for the good of the nation, and their unwavering commitment to the Nepalese cause played a key role in the success of the unification effort. The Gurkhas provided strong leadership during the unification period, with many Gurkhas serving as commanders and officers in the Nepalese military. They were highly respected by both their Nepalese comrades and their enemies, and their leadership helped to inspire and motivate Nepalese soldiers to fight for the cause of unification. Overall, the Gurkhas played a vital role in the unification of Nepal, using their military skills, knowledge, loyalty, and leadership to help bring about the creation of a united Nepalese nation. Their legacy continues to be felt in Nepal today, and they are remembered as heroes who helped to shape the destiny of their country. Furthermore, Gurkhas too have some myths associated with them. The Gurkhas have a rich mythology and folklore that is immersed in legend and tradition. One of the most enduring legends about the Gurkhas is that of their deadly knife, the Kokuri. According to legend, the Kokri was first used by the Gurkhas during their wars with the British in the early 19th century. The knife's distinctive curved blade was said to have been inspired by the shape of the sacred Nepalese sickle, and it quickly became a symbol of the Gurkhas' fighting prowess. Over time, the Kokuri became a treasured possession of every Gurkha soldier and a potent symbol of their bravery and skill in battle. Another popular legend about the Gurkhas is that they are immortal. According to this myth, the Gurkhas are blessed by the gods with eternal life, and they are said to have the power to heal themselves of any injury. While there is no evidence to support this myth, it speaks to the Gurkhas' reputation for courage and resilience in the face of adversity. The Gurkhas are too also associated with the legend of the Yeti, the mythical creature that is said to inhabit the high peaks of the Himalayas. According to legend, the Gurkhas are the only ones who have ever managed to capture a Yeti, and they are said to have brought the creature back to their base camp for study. While the veracity of this story is questionable, it speaks to the Gurkhas' reputation for bravery and resourcefulness in the face of extreme conditions. Overall, the myths and legends associated with the Gurkhas reflect their status as a legendary fighting force with a rich cultural heritage. While these stories may be based on exaggeration or myth, they continue to inspire respect and admiration for the Gurkhas to this day. Likewise, the Gurkhas today serve for different Gurkhas armies. The composition of the Gurkhas has evolved over time, and today there are several types of Gurkhas serving in various militaries around the world. The Nepalese Army Gurkhas are soldiers who serve in the Nepalese Army. They are recruited from the various ethnic groups of Nepal and undergo rigorous training to become part of the Gurkha Regiment. Likewise, the British Army Gurkhas are soldiers who serve in the British Army. They are recruited from Nepal and undergo a rigorous selection process that includes physical and mental tests, as well as an assessment of their English language skills. British Army Gurkhas are not British citizens, but they are eligible for settlement in the UK after serving a minimum of four years. More, the Indian Army Gurkhas are soldiers who serve in the Indian Army. They are recruited from Nepal and undergo a rigorous selection process that includes physical and mental tests. Indian Army Gurkhas are not Indian citizens, but they are eligible for citizenship after serving a minimum of 15 years. Another group Gurkhas is Singapore Army Gurkhas. The Singapore Army Gurkhas are soldiers who serve in the Singapore Army. They are recruited from Nepal and undergo a rigorous selection process that includes physical and mental tests. Singapore Army Gurkhas are not Singaporean citizens, but they are eligible for citizenship after serving a minimum of five years. Overall, the Gurkhas are a diverse group of soldiers who come from different ethnic and cultural backgrounds. However, they are all united by their dedication to duty, their fighting spirit, and their commitment to their respective militaries. The Gurkhas serving in the British Army has a long history of bravery and invincibleness. The Gurkhas have been serving in the British Army for over 200 years, and their service has been highly valued by the British military. Currently, there are about 3,000 Gurkhas serving in the British Army, with most of them serving in the Brigade of Gurkhas. Gurkhas have served in various units of the British Army, including the Royal Gurkha Rifles, the Queen's Gurkha Engineers, 
and the Queen's Gurkha signals. They have also served in other branches of the military, such as the Royal Air Force and the Royal Navy. Gurkhas who serve in the British Army are known for their bravery, loyalty, and professionalism. They have earned numerous awards for their service, including the Victoria Cross, the Military Cross, and the Conspicuous Gallantry Cross. In recent years, there has been some controversy over the treatment of Gurkhas in the British Army, particularly regarding their pensions and immigration rights. However, the British government has taken steps to address these issues and improve the conditions for Gurkhas serving in the military. Let go me go more in details about the Gurkhas in Britain. The Brigade of Gurkhas is a unique and highly respected component of the British Army, consisting of units that are made up entirely of Gurkha soldiers. The Brigade was formed in 1947, following the independence of India, which meant that Gurkha regiments that had previously served in the Indian Army were transferred to the British Army. The Brigade of Gurkhas comprises several different units, including infantry, engineers, signals, logistics, and medical units. Most of these units are based in the UK, although some are stationed overseas, particularly in Brunei, where there is a large British Army presence. The infantry units of the Brigade of Gurkhas are organized into two battalions, the 1st Battalion, Royal Gurkha Rifles, 1 RGR, and the 2nd Battalion, Royal Gurkha Rifles, 2 RGR. These units are trained in a variety of military skills, including close quarters combat jungle warfare, and mountain warfare, and are known for their toughness and resilience. In addition to their military duties, Gurkhas in the brigade are also involved in a range of community and charitable activities. For example, they participate in the Gurkha Welfare Trust, which provides support and assistance to Gurkha veterans and their families, both in the UK and in Nepal. The Brigade of Gurkhas is an important and valued part of the British Army, and Gurkhas are known for their loyalty, courage, and dedication to duty. They have served with distinction in numerous conflicts around the world, and their service is greatly appreciated by the British military and the wider British public. Further, let me put more on Gurkhas' involvement in wars in different parts of the world at different time periods. The Gurkhas have a long and proud history of serving in various conflicts around the world and have earned a reputation as some of the toughest and most dedicated soldiers in the world. Over 200,000 Gurkhas served in the British Army during World War I, fighting in major battles such as the Battle of Gallipoli and the Battle of the Somme. They earned a reputation for their bravery and loyalty, and many were decorated for their service. Gurkhas continued to serve in large numbers in the British Army during World War II, fighting in campaigns in Europe, Africa, and Asia. They played a particularly important role in the Burma campaign, where their jungle warfare skills were put to good use. Gurkhas were too involved in the Malayan Emergency, a conflict between British and Commonwealth forces and communist insurgents in Malaya or now Malaysia that lasted from 1948 to 1960. Gurkhas were heavily involved in counterinsurgency operations and played a key role in defeating the communist insurgency. Another involvement is in Falklands War. Gurkhas served in the British Army during the Falklands War in 1982, with a Gurkha company serving in the 2nd Battalion, Parachute Regiment. They were involved in the successful assault on Mount Longdon and played a crucial role in the capture of the Argentine positions. Another recent involvement is in Iraq and Afghanistan. Gurkhas have served in Iraq and Afghanistan as part of the British Army. They have been involved in a range of operations, including counterinsurgency, peacekeeping, and training of local security forces. Overall, the Gurkhas have made a significant contribution to British history, both in terms of military service and cultural exchange. Their service has been marked by their bravery, loyalty, and dedication to duty, and their cultural contributions have helped to enrich British society. The Gurkhas are highly valued and respected members of the British community, and their legacy will continue to be felt for many years to come. Let me delve into the Victoria Crosses, one of the highest honors awarded to the Gurkhas. The Victoria Cross is the highest military decoration awarded for bravery in the face of the enemy in the British and Commonwealth Armed Forces. The Gurkhas have a long and distinguished history of receiving the Victoria Cross, 
and their bravery and selflessness have earned them numerous awards over the years. In fact, Gurkha soldiers have won a total of 26 Victoria Crosses since they began serving in the British Army in the 19th century. This is a remarkable achievement considering the relatively small size of the Gurkha contingent in the British Army. Some of the most famous Gurkhas who have been awarded the Victoria Cross include our rifleman Tool Bahadur Pun, Havildar Lakhiman Gurung, and Lance Naik Ganjulama. For instance, Rifleman Pun was awarded the Victoria Cross for his actions during the Burma campaign of World War II. During an attack on a Japanese position, Pun single-handedly took out two enemy bunkers with grenades, despite being wounded himself. Likely, Havildar Gurung was awarded the Victoria Cross for his actions during the Battle of Monte Cassino in Italy during World War II. Despite being severely wounded, he continued to fight off waves of enemy soldiers, single-handedly holding off the enemy for several hours. And more on the list, Lance Naiklama was awarded the Victoria Cross for his actions during the Indonesian confrontation in Borneo in 1965. During a battle with Indonesian forces, Lama single-handedly charged an enemy position and silenced two machine gun posts, despite being severely wounded. These are just a few examples of the many Gurkhas who have been awarded the Victoria Cross for their bravery in battle. Their courage, selflessness, and dedication to duty continue to inspire respect and admiration to this day. In addition to Britain, Gurkhas are also integral part of Indian Army. The Gurkhas have also had a significant impact on modern India, particularly in the Indian Army. The Gurkhas have been serving in the Indian Army for over 200 years, and have been involved in many major conflicts, including both world wars, the Sino-Indian War, and the Kargil War. They have earned a reputation as some of the toughest and most loyal soldiers in the Indian Army and have been highly valued by the Indian military. The recruitment of Gurkhas into the Indian Army has been an important part of Indian military history. The recruitment process is like the one used by the British Army, with a selection process that tests physical fitness, intelligence, and aptitude. The Gurkhas have provided a significant source of manpower for the Indian Army, and their service has been highly valued. The Gurkhas have also played a role in cultural exchange between Nepal and India. Many Gurkhas have made India their home and have contributed to Indian society in a variety of ways. They have brought with them their own unique culture, customs, and traditions, and have helped to enrich Indian society. The relationship between the Gurkhas and India has been marked by mutual respect and admiration and has helped to foster understanding and friendship between the two countries. Overall, the Gurkhas have been an important part of modern Indian military history, and their service has been greatly appreciated and respected. They have earned a reputation for their bravery, loyalty, and dedication to duty, and have made a significant contribution to the Indian Army and to Indian society. Furthermore, let me explore about Jayaka's connection with UN peacekeeping mission. The Gurkhas, also known as the Nepalese soldiers, have a long and distinguished history of serving in UN peacekeeping missions. Nepal, a country that has been contributing to UN peacekeeping since 1958, has been a significant contributor of Gurkha soldiers to UN peacekeeping missions. Gurkhas have been part of several UN peacekeeping missions, including those in Cyprus, Lebanon, Bosnia, and Herzegovina, Angola, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Sudan, South Sudan, Ivory Coast, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. They have served in various roles such as infantry, engineers, and medical support. One of the most significant contributions of the Gurkhas to UN peacekeeping was in the 1990s in Sierra Leone. The Gurkhas played a crucial role in stabilizing the country and bringing peace to the region. They were involved in several operations, including the disarmament of rebel groups, protection of civilians, and providing security for humanitarian organizations. In recognition of their contributions, the UN has awarded the Gurkhas with several medals, including the UN Medal, the UN Service Medal, and the UN Special Service Medal. Today, Gurkhas continue to serve in UN peacekeeping missions around the world, and their reputation for bravery, discipline, and loyalty remains strong. 
Finally, let me brief about the Gurkhas' involvement in the Maoist conflict in Nepal. The Gurkhas were not directly involved in the Maoist conflict in Nepal, which lasted from 1996 to 2006. However, they did play an important role in supporting the Nepalese government's efforts to end the conflict. During the conflict, the Nepalese government recruited additional Gurkha soldiers to strengthen its security forces. The Gurkhas provided training and support to Nepalese army units deployed to fight against the Maoists. They also helped to secure vital infrastructure and protect civilians in areas affected by the conflict. The Gurkhas' involvement in the conflict was not without controversy. Some critics argued that their presence in Nepal's security forces violated the principle of political neutrality, as the Gurkhas are traditionally loyal to the British monarchy. Others accused the Gurkhas of committing human rights abuses during the conflict. Despite these criticisms, the Gurkhas' role in the conflict was generally seen as a positive one. Their reputation for bravery and discipline made them valuable assets to the Nepalese security forces, and they helped to bring stability to the country after years of violence and political unrest. Today, the Gurkhas continue to serve in the Nepalese army and are considered among the country's most elite soldiers. In short, whether it is for contributing to Nepal's unification process in the 18th century or their involvement in the two world wars representing Britain or their commitment to UN peacekeeping mission throughout the world, the Gurkhas are always remembered with dignity as invincible forces. The Gurkhas have earned a reputation for their bravery and loyalty and have been awarded numerous medals and decorations for their service. They have served in some of the most dangerous and challenging environments in the world and have shown invincible courage and dedication to duty. They are known for their skill with the kukuri, a traditional Nepalese knife that is part of their standard equipment. Thank you for watching.